there are 15,000 fans here, and you've signed 13,000 autographs, so not a bad ratio there. I've still, still got a ways to go then. This is Lindsay Lohan last May, and this is Lindsay Lohan this weekend. Uh-oh. Good yeah, to see you. Good to see you. You look nice. Well, I'm, I'm trying here. I don't know. Can we get this there? Very nice. Yeah, is that all right? Okay. No, you're looking good. You're looking right. good. I'm black tie, you know. I know. I, mean, it's, it, you know, I don't it, want a point. <laughs> That's blue. Thank you. You think she was just as surprised as the rest of the world that he let the cat out of the bag? AJ, you gotta believe Angelina was wanting to kill Jack Black at that moment. I mean, here she is, she evades the paparazzi. Every person in the world, as far as the press goes, wants to scoop this story. And all of a sudden, she's sitting there thinking, okay, I'm gonna promote my movie, no big deal. And then Jack Black busts her out right there on TV. <laughs> she, she wanted to kill him. I don't wanna give away too much, but there's one scene in the movie where she's fighting a monster, and the entire time I'm like rooting against the monster. I'm like, Oh my gosh, you know, and then the monster like rips away half your clothing, and then I'm thinking, Strategically, and then I'm thinking the monster is not that bad though. I'm like, go monster! <laughs> yes. Does it say something about me that I love this movie so much? Is that? <laughs> is that I mean, is that should I be worried at all? Uh, I'm worried. You are outselling Kelly Clarkson right now. How does that feel? It's pretty amazing. What's it been like for you being a celebrity dad in the last year? She saw him growing up in front of the world. I mean, that's what pretty tough thing. All right, guys, help me out here. Denise Richards? Yay! Or Denise Richards? No. What? You know, I don't even know what that is. Mark? I, I got nothing. Now newlywed Jessica Alba is challenging you to a staring contest, and what are you guys doing? Staring contest with Jessica Alba. Why? Because it's Jessica Alba. Oh! Guys, I have Lakers playoff tickets. Kobe Bryant or Jessica Alba? Jessica Alba. Guys, can anything tear you away from Jessica Alba? No! I guess not even this picture of Jennifer Aniston sunbathing. Let me see that. Let me see that. Joining us in Plantation, Florida is Carlos Diaz. What was it all about today? Well, it was supposed to be about who was going to get the body of Anna Nicole Smith. Was it going to be Virgie Arthur, Anna Nicole's mother? Uh, was it going to be Howard K. Stern? Uh, they kind of turned into a, a sideshow at times with lawyers yelling at one another in court and also the paternity battle came into play. Uh, we expected fireworks and we were not disappointed. Who's the biggest drinker of the cast? Me and you can drink some beer. Like drink some beer. <laughs> <laughs> we, you know, I'd say we're, we're pretty we're evenly matched. Buddies, yeah, yeah, we're good drinking buddies. I wouldn't bet against either of us. You're getting up easy. You still want to talk at the yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Who's a better kisser, Jessica Simpson or Jessica Alba? Well, uh, Alba's got more tongue going on in there. And uh, Simpson's a little bit, uh, she's got a little more of a smooch effect going. I slipped him, you know, a thousand bucks to say. Are uh, Dave and Jay saying they're going to go back and do these shows without writers? No, the writers will not abandon the strike. That's one thing for certain. What they're saying is they'll do the show without writers. The interesting thing here is there's kind of back channel talks between Jay and Dave's people because they don't want to come out. They don't want to be the first one back. I'd be honored if yes, you would sir. show me the technique of, of putting the sunglasses okay. on. Wow. <laughs> was, that, was that okay? Did I do okay? All right, see, look out. Cut this. Cut. The Did producers I... see that. I'm no, 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 no. I'm at the right. peak of my coolness. Right. Cut. That's cute. Okay, that's it. Janet just called me cute. I don't know what that means, but I'm very, very excited about it. You've been on red carpet lines with her, right, Carlos? Yeah, you know, I, I was in Vegas a few months ago. I did an exclusive inter with, interview with her on a red carpet. It's, it's, it's Beatles-esque. I mean, basically, when she steps off of an elevator, it's, the crowd moves as one. And you hear it time and time again. People say, why do we care about Britney Spears? The last adjective I'd ever use to describe you would be a geek. But people have talked about you being a space geek. You love space, and you were really excited about this. I am. When they asked me to do it, I really wanted to. Are you a Latino? Whatever you are, be proud. Yes, what, what? I am. I'm Cuban. My dad's from Cuba. Are you Cuban, Cuba. really? Yeah, yeah exactly. Really? Bring the raft around. Uh, <laughs> Bring the raft in! So when are, when are you getting deported? Because uh, I may <laughs> right need Right after this interview. Here with the latest celebrity buzz live from Los Angeles. Extra course, Ron Carlos Diaz is back with us. I love Carlos. Dina is saying, you know, I don't see this as like a, as a Playboy pictorial. I see this as something where Lindsay's playing a role. So as she's playing a role, it, you know, it makes sense, you know, because she's emulating and playing Marilyn Monroe in these pictures. Thank, right. you, thank you, Carlos, very much. Carlos, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Do we have some girls in the audience that were dueling over Carlos, I think? Uh -huh. There's a beautiful women in the film, and I'm standing next to some dude. You know, I mean, what, what, you know, J no, you're a sexy man, Jason. Don't get me wrong. You I'm are. I'm a little beautiful. You are very beautiful. Don't, 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 not on camera. Later, I'll give you my number. Anyway. Hey, wait, Carlos, before you go, where's Christina? Where's Salma? Where are the girls? Oh, they're, I see them right there. They're, they're walking in right now. Well, get they're, right like, on over they're, they're there. Like, there, I should just walk over. You know what? We should just walk on. Can yeah. we walk outside? Hold on. 
Hold on, guys. All right, pardon me, sir. Pardon me, guys. Uh, we're live on E right now, guys. How you doing? Did you guys have fun making this movie? We did. We had a great. Can you hear anything we're saying? We can hear everything you say. Everyone's yelling and screaming. Bruce, good to see you. You, you, my friend, you were rocking Get Out last night. A big hand from my man Kevin Spacey, everybody. This is kind of an intimate night, wouldn't you say? Yeah, it's very, uh, very few people. He couldn't have said it any more clearly that he's against stunt casting. I, I don't get it. Yeah, you know, that, that Neil Patrick Harris, he, he hates that stunt casting, doesn't he? Yeah, what happened with Harold and Kumar go to White Castle when you played Neil Patrick Harris? <laughs> Stunt casting? You're the poster child for stunt casting. Come on, dude, you get with it. You're in the sequel that comes out in two weeks. Can you teach me the, the, the telepathy real quick? Can you teach me the, can we have a little conversation here? No, you're totally close. <laughs> Hello everyone, I'm Carlos Diaz. Former Guns N' Roses frontman Axl Rose is being sued by his former bandmates. And this one could be a real slash and burn. The guys called themselves the Fab Five, but that was lifted from a license plate. Carolina Boya says the owner of the car in question is fed up with people who assume he's gay. Not that there's anything wrong with that. Is it true that you had $106 in your pocket when the first Rocky came out? I had my dog and 106 bucks. Is it true that you were a big smoker before the first Rocky yeah, came out? Yeah, it's true. Is it true that you wanted to kill Rocky off at the end of Rocky Five? It is. The studio said no. Brad Pitt and Angelina Jolie finally had their baby. Is that right? A baby girl named Shiloh. Are they canceling the race? Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> you have a baby boy, they have a baby girl. Mm -hmm. can they, are they going to hang out together? Can they, you know, I mean, hit the celebrity functions and things? And... Not if I live to be a thousand will that happen. <laughs> Hi, I'm Carlos Diaz. This is E! News Live in New York. This is Jennifer Lopez's foot. These are her shoes. E! News Live coming up. <laughs> when you were running out of the house with your little girl and you shut the door and the, the, the bolt came down, <laughs> woo! people were going crazy. You know, I mean, it was like, people obviously can relate to what this woman is going through. Number one albums, number one singles, number one movies, uh, their own clothing line. Is there anyone else out there doing it? Is it... Do, am I sitting next to an me. original? And what is this, he doing it, right now? You got a lot to fall back on is what I'm saying. There's a lot of things going on in your Don't life. Don't even say it out loud. The moral of the story here is... The moral of the story is... If you're is a celebrity. Background checks. You gotta have background checks on the people well, what that would you they have known? 26 years old. But that's the thing. I, you, it, this is like 1980, you know? This is yeah. 22 years ago, so you can't really... Here's a kid fresh out of college. Right. He was the nephew of the nanny of Sean Lennon. You know, so it's not like they put an ad in the paper. I mean, I'm half expecting you to come out on the screen and go, Arr, I'm the killer, Arr, you know, and Arr, Arr. come over here, Mr. Pacino. Because you don't know, who knows what Rob Williams is going to be like as a killer, it's good. If you weren't on crutches, could you be out there? No. You actually kicked Ben Chaplin out of bed. You kicked the man out of bed. It's acting, it's not how I was feeling, it was my character, it wasn't Sandy. Had it been me? You would have stayed the best. You know, you can do a lot of things in NASCAR racing, but apparently cussing ain't one of those things. I want to thank you, Dana, for all your hospitality. Thank your family for me before I wipe out. Next week, we're going to be coming to you from California. We're going to check in with the stars from the Little League World Series. When we come back to SSA, we're going to have some more snowboarders. That's right. The powder is thick here in Aspen, and SSA will be right back. Backstage here from the Aspies, and we begin the show okay. with with a celebrity that needs no introduction. Joe, thanks for joining us. Hey, I really no appreciate you. I'm, I'm not worthy to be here. I know. Well, I'm, I, I I'm no. oh, it's Tiger Woods. Oh Tiger's here too. I, I didn't even see but with with Joe standing here. You've been you've been overshadowed. Tiger. Oh, without a doubt. You know, um, he he's the man. Check you out every night, man. I want you to know I'm a big fan of yours, man. There he is with. Carlos Diaz. Carlos? Well, Sammy Sosa's here. He's, he's putting on his shirt that he's been waiting to put on all season long. He thought he'd be putting on this shirt after 162 games, but it turned out to be 163. Sammy, you said all season long that all you wanted to do was make the playoffs. Now you're in the playoffs. How do you feel? I feel great. It's been unbelievable. I like your hair. You like my hair? You got great hair. I look at that hair and I get absolutely shocked because if I had hair like that, I'd be a TV star. Do you like seafood? I'm Carlos Diaz, we'll see you later.